Subscription, pull, subscribe on the channel, and go on the computer and watch his channel. Goodbye, you. see you tomorrow. We do a video and subscribe on the channel. What's going on folks coming to you pre-recorded from Chemical Valley, West Virginia in the heart of FEMA Region 3. We are going to do February's drawing for the tube pack and the My Choice uh, tube jig heads. Um, I got two packs of tubes and a pack of jig heads to give away. And then um, I want to give you all some tips on an important bait that I love to throw all through pre-spawn, all through spring, and a little bit in the summer uh, when conditions favor, and that is the spinner bait. Um, I know I've had, if, if you guys have been around for a while, or uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, I have not made a spinner bait playlist, but it is something that I'm going to do and um there are videos that will show you either in the thumbnail or in the video title that it will be featuring you know certain spinner baits so one of my favorite ways to cover water in the spring just flat out all through pre spawn and post is with a spinner bait especially on cloudy days i don't know what it is but i do better on cloudy days with spinner bait. Now, when that comes to water clarity, I tend to throw like three different kinds of spinner baits that I like to use in the winter. Or I'm sorry, in the spring. So um starting with the half ounce uh this is an Indiana willow leaf combo this is a half ounce picasso this is the invisawire so it's got a steel tempered uh i'm not sure 27 or 28 gauge wire that gives this maximum vibration i've never had these blow out through the the water column and i choose to trail it with a um zoom just um i think it's clear with black flake uh, five inch grub super grub and uh, what I like to do with these half ounce ones is either cast them out and let them hit the bottom and then slow roll them or I will throw them up in the shallows and you know bring them kind of fast around targets and stuff like that here is a strike king double uh, willow that will come more into play um, when I see the shad start to spawn and this is also trailed with the same exact grub the zoom super grub um, this is a good a good spinner bait right here this is one of the strike king pro uh, series spinner baits and again you guys know I'm not the biggest strike king guy but they do make a good spinner bait they do now here comes one of my favorite brands of spinnerbait and that is the War Eagle. And guys, when I'm throwing a spinnerbait, the only boot tail that I've found that doesn't impede the action of the spinnerbait or cause it to blow out, which means roll over on one side or the other, is the Storm 360 GT. I actually have a white with a white painted blade um tied onto my spinnerbait rod right now i was going to go out today and throw some around but we have 50 mile an hour wind gusts so you should have seen me when i got home trying to anchor down my boat cover which looked like it was going to pick my boat up off the trailer and take it down the road i mean it was like whoosh. it was crazy um the more muddier the water, the orange kicker blade always comes into play. You can either buy them like this or go get you an orange paint marker and do your own. That's what I do. Um, this is a Terminator 
when I'm in a little bit of clearer water, I will throw, uh, if bluegill is the forage, I will throw uh, this, this bait and, um, you know, with that bluegill skirt and colors. And this is trailed by a, maybe this is the uh, power bait. I want to say they call it the lunch worm or something like that. But I like to use a lot of curly tails or flukes um, because they don't impede the action of my bait. And last but not least, this is uh, this spinnerbait right here is responsible for catching me some big bass. Especially if you go back in the library and look at the Memorial Day episode with the American flag in the thumbnail. Um, this is a Strike King burner. Uh, with the black painted blades, black with blue flake. Um, I don't use a trailer on on any uh, spinner bait that I have a trailer hook on, as you can see. This one has a trailer hook, so I don't use a trailer. And I've caught some big bass on this bait. I should order duplicates, so I'm, but I I don't throw that with caution. I mean, I think I've seen it hanging on every dick's peg so that being said guys this is what i chose to give away um being that quarter ounce you can throw on either light casting gear or medium heavy uh spinning gear uh i went with uh, i'm going to give you all a pack of the quarter ounce powder coat long shank medium wire ball head jigs and that's a four-aught straight chain hook. I'm going to give you a pack of the four-inch Magnum Flipping Tube Green Pumpkin Illusion. It's that green pumpkin with the, with the blue, kind of like an Okeechobee crawl that you always see the pros throwing. But you can never really come across baits that look like exactly like the ones they're throwing. So, but we're going to remedy that. And then, since I got the video with the with the big walleye on the on the bleeding pearl, I wanted to give you guys some bleeding pearls as well. So I've been holding on to those. Sorry, I didn't do the video exactly on the first, but uh, today was my last day at my old job, and Monday I will be starting my new job. So uh, I just been wrapping up you know all my final ends so to speak at the old job and um it was cool today we had pizza and stuff and i'm gonna miss them guys man i spent four years of my life working there and uh we all know you know when you're working 40 plus hours a week you spend more time with those people than you do your family so they end up being like family and uh it's just time to move on, man. Um, it was a delivery job. I worked for a floral company for a long time. And uh, at first I enjoyed it, but after COVID, the tension on the road has gotten so bad. And along with our nation's infrastructure crumbling, the roads are getting worse. And, you know, just the conditions of the roads. So, I just don't enjoy it anymore. And it's time to just take that um, stressor away and better my employment situation. I'll be working with one of our subscribers, Callie Mike, and uh, just being in a shop all day learning a new trade because things have changed in machining since last time I was involved with them almost 25 years ago. So I'm going to go in there with an the open mind and throw everything that I thought I knew about machining out because I'm sure it's changed that much. But um, that being said, y'all, let's get ready to do this drawing. So we'll be right back. I apologize, folks. I forgot to cover it gear really quick. As you can see, I got a storm, not a storm, a Strike King tied on right there with the uh, Storm 360 GT for a trailer 
with a white, with a painted white um, willow leaf to a smaller Colorado uh, kicker blade. Um, now here's the thing that differs. That is a five three to one speed reel, and I've been throwing my spinner baits on a five speed for probably the last three years. And in the spring, it just seems like the perfect speed. It's either the perfect speed or the perfect line take up per handle turn um, for that time of year to still generate a big bite and, um, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll throw it on 14 to 17 pound fluorocarbon, depending on what kind of structure I'm throwing it on. And that is the Shimano Celis 610 medium heavy uh, fast. And then in, once we get into summer, when these fish's metabolism gets up a little bit more, I'm going to try for the first time in three years to throw spinner baits on the carbon light because that is a 7, it's either a 7.3 or a 7.5 to 1. Johnny Morris Platinum. Uh, is that the platinum or is that the one this the carbon light i'm sorry it's the carbon light but it's still a 10 bearing uh reel uh, it's a great reel i got it spooled up with 20 pound spider wire braid right now to a small fluorocarbon leader because i've been throwing lighter uh swim jigs on it like the quarter ounce i like to throw a lot of the quarter ounce swim jigs um, in early spring and then go up to the three eighths and half ounce when we get into summer. So sorry about that folks. I forgot to cover gear. All right, folks. So, uh, bear with me, man. I, I had, I couldn't find the old comment picker that I was always using, um, in the play store for some reason. So it says total comment is nine. I've entered into the, uh, you know, like the data, um, hashtag tube, you know, to weed out the other comments. So let's hit pick winner. Winner is winner is name fishing four studs. Comment, hashtag tube, thanks for doing the giveaway. Cool, heck yeah, that's cool, man. I didn't even know that y'all are subscribers, man, because I don't really dive into the analytics, so if I don't really see you guys interacting in the comment section a lot, um, then I, I don't know. I don't even know how to access who my subscribers are, who my subscribers are and who aren't, you know what I'm saying? So. I just do it because I love to fish and I love to share my fishing experience and a little bit of technique with you guys. So that's cool. So that being said, fishing for studs, you guys are the winner of the quarter ounce ball head jig that you can throw on either once it's rigged up with the tube, casting gear or spinning gear. The Bleed, Strike King Bleeding Pearl 3.5 inch tube and the Bass Pro Shops 4 inch Magnum flipping tube that you could either trim down to your likings as far as making it a 3.5 if you want. But it's in that uh, green pumpkin illusion which has a little bit of the blue hue to it like the Okeechobee Craw and it's got some flake. So at the beginning of each episode is all my social media contacts and at the end of older episodes is my actual email address i don't like just blurting it out um just for you know um to avoid email bombardment by trolls or shills because i do deal with that sometimes um just get me your shipping info and um as soon as I get that, shoot, I could, you know, as soon as I get it, I'll have it sent out the following business day. I got bubble mailers and all that stuff. So, again, fishing for studs. Congratulations. You are this month's winner of the tube pack. And uh, just get me that shipping info. 
You can find all my social media at the intro. And in older episodes, you'll find my email address in the outro. I'm going to, since I have my first Saturday off in shoot, a while, because uh, I've worked on Saturdays for the last four years. It's just been my schedule. Um, I might take my boat out tomorrow, even though the river's really high. Those fish will be shallow. And I might throw some spinnerbait to my dime self. So, that being said, y'all, I hope y'all like the video. And um, I will announce uh, March's giveaway probably towards the middle of the month. So, uh, make sure you are subscribed so you're eligible to win these monthly giveaways that I do just because without you guys. I'd be another just crazy dude at the fishing spot talking to himself with a camera on his hat. So, that being said, y'all, have a blessed weekend. This is Guy with the GoPro Fishing Show. Out for now. But just for now. Be easy, people. Peace.